voice sounds horrible today. At long last I have found you, my dearest lamb chop, my oldest friend. What the <coughs> is that? Dog toy? Oh my god, this cannot be. What happened to you? Reduced to a squeak toy? And I really liked it as a puppet. But unfortunately, yeah, that's not going to be a good fit. <sighs> I don't know. I really want to turn it into a puppet. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. Right. Give these to my dog. down low okay yeah I don't know this it's very small got a mouth to it already but obviously my hand is colossal compared to this poor thing Well, I guess it's not really about comfort, is it? I'm not going to play with this all the time. Just want my puppet back. Alright, I guess pretty much all I'll need is this and a pair of scissors. And the glue. The audio got turned off here because I had the TV full blast. And all you can really hear is the TV and it will be really annoying to listen to. Well, that's the end of that fun. The toys had to get taken away because they were destroyed. Oh, well. There's five squeakers that I'm going to remove. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I might keep these. I don't need them. I don't need to put my hands anywhere near it. I'm just going to remove the main squeaker. I'm going to actually insert my hand from the very bottom. If I go from the back, my hands will be seen. I mean, it'll be a lot less seen if I go from the bottom of the puppet. Now, the goal here is to actually pull it inside out. That's where all the sewing takes place. The scissors I'm using here are actually completely rusted and the tips are broken, as you can clearly see. This process didn't take too long, but I had to fast forward all the way through it. It's pretty straightforward. You just cut a hole in the bottom and start removing the internals. Mostly fluffing. And there's the squeak toy. Well, so much for that.
Okay, I'm already running into a problem. The uh, bottom lip here is all sewn together to the neck. So I can't get a thumb in there. I can only get my hand in the top half, so it just nods. Hmm. Yeah, I can't, there's no, I gotta turn it inside out and see if I can free that tongue up. And it's also a really sharp 90 right from the neck. Like, my thumb wants to be here naturally. Right where the Adam's apple, I guess. I don't know if I if I free that up. Yeah, everything I feared is see I could pass my finger through and there's like a neck piece right here that has everything just balled up in a big stitch. I might have to grab a knife and just start plucking at the threads here. My scissors aren't sharp enough. And I want to free up the mouth. Mm, this process right here is painfully slow. This is where the um, mouth is right here. They kind of just folded it over. Probably going to ruin everything this is the threading for the nose that's the tongue when I de-thread this all it's probably gonna open up the mouth in a way I don't want it to open but I'm gonna do this off camera due to the fact that it is painfully slow to watch I just been taking this knife and shoving it to reach these little threads and cutting them all right. Okay, so I've removed the threading and I can get my thumb below the tongue. And unfortunately, as you could tell, the tongue goes everywhere. Yeah. It's hanging on by some loose threads and it's definitely gonna pop free. That's disturbing. Ant eater lamb chop. Alright, I'm gonna have to hot glue the tongue back on. And maybe do some other stuff. Cause right now I can't get my hand out. There we go. current problem I'm having is I'm having to bend my thumb quite a bit to get it into the the bottom jaw because here I actually have a hole in the neck because the threads I pulled out it doesn't have much of a neck if you can see where my hand is it's right there at the turn of my hand I'm going like this and it's really uncomfortable way too small for me see it, it's right the the neck is right where my hand is I kind of would like to have my whole hand up in there that's unrealistic for a puppet this size but I feel like it needs a neck I'll never match the fur if I make a neck on this thing oh it's gonna look so dumb Maybe just like an inch. This thing is ridiculously small. So what I'm debating on doing is right here is the seam to the back. Comes all the way down here. And if I take the seam apart, I can open the puppet up. Because right now whenever my hand's in it, it looks bloated. You can see all the knuckles. You can see my hand because it's and there's no room for additional fluffing. And it looks ridiculous. It looks like it has a huge hunchback and it's horrible. So my plan is to open up the back 
by pulling off the threads here and then simply gluing this, the body, to like a sock. And then I can take off the head, decapitate it, and I can use the exposed sock as a, a neck. Because right now there's absolutely no neck for the mouth here. And you can see my finger right through this crack. So I'm going to add a neck and hopefully expand the body to fit, accommodate my hand. Once again, you turn it inside out and thread it. All work has to be done inside out to these puppets. All right, I'm gonna get to work on this. It's gonna be a lot of de-threading again. See all those threads? I gotta cut them with a knife. All right, to work. The back here was originally done with this huge thick thread. It must have been hand sewn. This is probably the entry point of which where they first turned the puppet inside out. Because they're all sewn inside out and then they get reversed through a hole and then they stitched a hole. This is where all the work was done originally. Oops. Oh yeah. See, it's just pulling apart. I just had to cut it once and it's just pulling apart now. Alright, I gotta there's some more uh, finer threads here I got to work on. Alright, back to do it. Back to doing it. Alright, since I decided to do it in this format, I'll give you updates time to time. I'm still taking apart this threading here. This is for the neck. I already did the back. Completely busted open. Um... I have a little bit of a knot here for the seam. They cooked it. Um, I might leave it. My hand wasn't having a problem entering. So I'm going to leave the seam. It might be enough. But I'm going to finish the neck here. Those little fine threads. This is going to take a while because I've already been at it a while. Alright, I'll give you an update a little bit later. Mm. Come on. Sometimes if you just uh, skip ahead on the threading, like you cut there and then you skip ahead, you cut there, you can pull the threads in between out. If you can tell, they pinched the head together here to make like a neck. So this is the head. And they pinch the slack here together. Like the stitching just goes up a little bit. And they have a couple other spots like near the ear here. Where they just did enough stitching down here to form a neck. See? They, they stitched the ear, skipped the spot. And then pinched it together over here. And there's a couple other spots where they just pinched the fabric together to form a neck. And hopefully I can get more hand space by removing that. But, of course, I'm going to sacrifice where the neck was. It's going to look like it's an overweight lamb chop, I guess. Alright, back to de-threading. Warning to young viewers. Look away, this might be disturbing. <laughs> Oh my god. What the heck happened? <laughs> uh, priceless. Alright, the next step for me to do is to, uh, uh. alright, <laughs> see I'm still having trouble here, because I still got to do this to get my hand there, 
And honestly, I can't get my hand inside. There's still some seams, like I was saying, where they pinched it together. So I'm going to try to open it up. And maybe I'll be able to maneuver better. Because right now I can't get my hand in there. To do the talking. Alright. Also, got myself a pair of socks. Clean. Brand new, sort of. Guess I'm gonna try to get that in there. Hold on. Stick that in there. Wrap this around this. Maybe bring it up so I only have like just maybe a little neck. Something like that. It's gonna look weird because the neck is gonna be kind of thin compared to the rest of the body. And the back, where I have it all busted open, is actually, I'm gonna go through this hole here for the bottom. I'm gonna leave that little knot. And I'm gonna put the sock right here. Maybe I'll get a shot of that. <laughs> Alright, this is a little disturbing, but... <laughs> oh. Mwahahaha. Okay, so... I'm gonna keep... Like, hot glue this... Sock to that... The head might just stay like that. I mean, I'm going to put some fluffing in there. I mean, I can't fit my fist in there, so I'm going to have to go like that. That is disturbing. Okay. I got to make sure I keep the neck somewhat low. You can see my thumb there. But it's a sacrifice I'll have to make because I am really, really, really small. This is painful. Why does my tongue not stick to my mouth anymore? I am Lamb Chop. Come play with me. Mm. Okay, I might keep the sock long so people won't see the arm so well. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much of this video will I be able to save? Mmm. Okay, what I have here is the sock, the de-stitched puppet, and somehow I gotta fit all this fluffing back into it. Well, not all of it, some of it will be removed because my hand has to fit. Um, I like the puppet mouth control when I don't have the actual sock. So, I'm going to cut the top of the sock off. And I'm going to, it's going to de-thread if I do that. So, I'm going to fold it over and hot glue it. That's what I'm going to do here. This is going to, of course, ruin the sock. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to successfully make this puppet. But it's not like I can hire someone to do this. I mean, it's not, I can't buy it anywhere. I mean, I suppose eBay always has something for sale. 
Alright, I'm gonna go use that knife. Okay, I went on the prowl for some better scissors. Now a note, the knife I was using wasn't that sharp because I was poking myself a lot when trying to dethread that stitching. I would probably advise everyone else to do the same. Okay, I got lucky and I made somewhat of a decent cut. Maybe should have drew a line. I did grab a marker out for a reason. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the hot glue gun. There we go, perfect. All right, I got a wall, no actually I went to a art supply store. It was like 12 bucks for one of these. There are some cheaper ones, but I went with the $12. It's a high temp. The like $3 ones are the low temp glue. They don't call it low temp. They call it like multi-purpose glue. But this is high temperature. The glue sticks are high temperature. And what I want to do here is I'm going to fold this back like this. I think I want to keep which side's softer? I mean looking at it like this inside out has a little bit more texture that I might want to go for. So I'm going to do this inside out. That way the neck won't be such a sore thumb. Okay, it's a little hot. All of a sudden that multi-purpose don't sound like such a bad idea. Alright, hopefully that stops it from de-threading because of if you ever try to pull these apart, they'll just keep going like shh. And we don't want that. So I got this hem. I don't know what they call this. A seam. Fold it over. There we go. I noticed the glue is making it harder to stretch in this area. So I'm gonna probably wanna keep it expanded while it cures. And it stays stretched, but that'll be fine. I'm not here for the elasticity of a sock. Um, okay. I gotta find out where this gets attached here. Now, I'm having trouble getting my knuckles in here. See? I can, but keep in mind that's because I got two hands here and it turns the head into like a spear shape and I don't want that it looks distorted so I'm gonna have to keep it forward so I'm gonna rest it along my knuckles right at the top get my thumb there Don't mark where it hits. Now it's completely lopsided to my hand because my thumb is over here, which means I want my thumb to be center of the mouthpiece for you know talking purposes. But that creates a bit of a twist in the neck because the center mass of my hand is over here. Let's see, my center mass of hand is over here. The lip is over here. So there's a twist. 
in the body so I can operate it. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. And I guess I just have to find out one way. Another thing, I'm going to probably tackle the tongue while I'm here. Oh. I should have made a mark to know where the tongue of it goes here. That's tongue. That lines up with that seam. I probably don't want to do this with my hand in. Or do I? I would have a lot more control over it if I had my hand still in the sock. High temp glue, here we come. Okay, got it back on. Oops. Problem here is the glue is a huge, messy thing. And it's hot. Very hot. Not impossibly hot, but this is gonna take some work. Let's see if I can get action in the scene. I got my blue line, got my hot glue, just gonna put it right on that line, right above it. Careful, oh sh snap that's hot. hot and getting hotter oh oh no all right I'm gonna hold it there I'm luckily it's not touching my hand but I dad my pinky into it and it is called hot glue for a reason if you look this inside out sock almost matches the fabric of this perfectly Oh, I'm gonna do the rest of this not with my hand inside. And hot glue sticks to you as soon as it cools, so that might leave a burn. What I would need is something to hold its form. Okay, you know what? Perfect. Water bottle. I keep my room a mess for a reason. Wow. It's like I'm smart. Gonna fold back the seam here a little bit. Try to get this all on camera. This also frees up my hand to use a water bottle as a simulation for my hand. put my hand in it again Need another glue stick. Good thing about this stuff goes quick.
right above that blue line. got that blue marker all over the white fleece of this poor lamb chop. It says it's washable. Well, maybe it's not washable. All right. Use washable markers when working with this. You notice a little seam back here? It's spread apart to accommodate my hand. Let this cool. So hot. Now it's lopsided. You can see it comes lower here, but it was just the way it was fitting on my hand. I don't know if it's going to look massively retarded I don't, shouldn't use that word whatever I don't know how this is gonna look it's massively lopsided but that was the way it was fitting on my hand because my hand isn't a symmetrical thing and it was just the best way for me to operate oh might as well fix this tongue while I'm on it I can't push it far enough in with the water bottle there let me just slide this. Okay. Mmm, delicious. Here, have some more. Right there. Nice and warm. You like that lamb chop? Does that taste good? That's hot. Okay. My fingers I stuck in the hot glue are burning. Been at this for 16 minutes and only got the head on. Alright, I'm gonna have to shove my hand back in here. See where the body fits. Oops, my head has not been fluffed. Do I happen to have an open hole? Or did the glue not cure? All right, the glue cure is pretty strong. It's like everywhere. Luckily, my sock has an opening in it. So I can just grab this wadding. I'm glad I did not go with the option not to seal it. All right, how much will I need? Looks like a brain size piece of wadding. With the wadding in there, it makes it harder to operate the mouth. Because it just comes around the top of the head, straight into the nose part. And I lose a lot of puppeteering control over the mouth. I got some. This 
suppose the wadding will fade in time. As you can see, my knuckles here in the back of the head, it's gonna look pretty bad. But hopefully the body attachment helps with that. you all oops body's on backwards I would have to say that right there, just in my thumb. I think I can hide that. About two inches lower. And it's, of course, this side here. Oh my goodness, his head is so on crooked. What if I just. Okay. Guess I can do that. Alright, I'm gonna space the body evenly from the rest and once again I'm going to supplement my hand with a bottle I'm going to make a guideline what about this far Trying to maintain the same distance from the old puppet's body to this new mark. It's definitely crooked. Just the way my hand hit fits. But I can make it look more straight by making the body also crooked on the sock. That way I can just, a matter of tilting my hand in a slightly angled position should make it look like it's a straight puppet I mean you can clearly see well you could clearly see the angle this is perfectly straight up and down you can see the angle then I'm gonna have to apply this too okay camera fell we're gonna Start by the front here, right below that glue seam. Nice big bead of it, why not? Make sure it's nice and aligned to where I want it. Okay. Don't know if that's washable. I want to try to cover that blue line. And I, I did not. And it wants to glue almost instantly. It's fine. I got a plan. Just devised a new plan.
Now I still have this buckling seam here. I don't know where I want it to fall. I don't think this neck piece here, this water bottle is the same dimensions as my hand. So I might want to get my hand in there and see if it's the proper spot for me. I'm going to make this rear end bigger. Ooh, that's warm. I'm not horribly upset with it. I have, this is kind of bad lighting, honestly. I don't have much mm, control here. I mean, I want to keep the facial features, but when I open and shut it, it doesn't seem to, I have to exaggerate my opening with my hand to get it to open and look like it's talking. So I might need to put some cardboard pieces in here later on. I think I'm ready to glue the rear end in. I find it's better to roll this back as best as possible. Doesn't want to roll where the legs are. That's so fine. I'll get the back here done. All right. Once again, I'm gonna have to make a line. This thing is just falling all over the place. want the line where I can't see it. Just gonna mark it, glue it there. This is taking a little bit of time to build. Will I zoom this at times whatever? Uh, probably. I gotta stop burning myself. I have no clue if the hot glue is better than normal glue at holding this stuff together, but it is hot and it is burning me. Yeah, I need my finger control 
for these precise puppeteering movements. I got a brown strip here that was used to, oh, I think it was part of the mouth at one time. I don't need it. I cut some of the fur. I'll leave it for now. Actually, it's bothering me. <sighs> There's more, but I'll leave it. It'll be a birthmark, I guess. I left the fluffing in the legs and the arms, so I won't have to refluff that. Little pieces at a time. You gotta get around to the front. Oops. Okay. Pierre's lamb chop has put on a little weight over the winter season. All right. It's fine. I need to hide the shape of my hand. I don't think I want to put much more than that in there.
This hot glue holds very well. A lot faster than sewing it. I think I'm done. It's been like an hour and something. Actually, you know what? I was thinking a little bit earlier. I have white cotton balls that it doesn't match the color. Hmm. All right, let me see how this will look. Come on. A little bit of constipation. How did the hot glue get on the bottle through the sock? Oh, through the sock's pores. Oh, boys, I'm having a little trouble getting my fist through the original opening here. The glue takes away the elasticity of the fabric. I can see my finger calling Adam's apple on a girl, I guess. And now I'm thinking if I could just cotton ball it. It's clearly not the same fabric. I mean, the sheep is very wooly, very chaotic. The cotton ball isn't. And it adds a lot of weight. Looks like it's really old beast. Alright, let's keep it like this. Hi everybody! I'm really good at being a puppeteer! Cause I got a beard! No one can see! can see me move my mouth because I have a beard. <sighs> okay, I mean, looks a little pork choppy. From the side, oh, actually, the fleece is really reflective on the camera light. That's actually the light from my room. Get a little distance. Well, this is the angle it, it'll be shown anyway. <laughs> it's a little warm inside the puppet. Maybe I can go outside in the snow. Very, very warm in here. Mm. Romantic.
Hello, fail to learn here, and today we're going to build a puppet. Okay, I just realized due to the tight fit of a sock, I can't simply twist the head. The whole body has to twist with it. And I know for a fact a puppet should be able to twist its head without moving its body. But this one will not. When it moves, it moves as one. You can see the sewing. Well, the hot glue of the back. My knuckles. This is a monster. How could you do this to me? Oh, I'm so depressed. Why did you have this show me in the mirror? Took you an hour and a half to build this? Seriously? Look at me. I'm a monster. <sighs> Don't look at me. Alright. Maybe I'll try to wash the blue lines off. If I try to wash the blue lines, there will be less obvious of a neckline. I got blue everywhere on the back. The rip seam. I can obviously hide my hand if I bring the sock down more. Alright, so this is what I got. Got my puppet. You can't really see. I like having the sock, hides my arm. The back's a little expanded to accommodate my hand. I can easily take cotton balls and just kind of tear the cotton balls apart and kind of like hide it. But it's the only ventilation my hand gets because it's actually kind of warm in here. So I can feel a nice cool breeze coming from here. So I, I'm just going to leave it like that. I also thought about hiding the neck, but it actually matches the face piece very well. The reverse sock just matches it. Um, my biggest regret is the the marker I used was permanent. I got it right here, and I used permanent marker, and it left like a horrible uh, blue marks here. And uh, Lamb Chop, what are you doing? No, get out of the way from me!